I want to show you how to write a video sales letter using the formula that I've used on every single sales page that I've made for my seven figure business. So if you're hoping to hook your audience in and make sure that they buy today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today, make sure to stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you how to capture your audience's attention in the first five seconds. <laughs> need to capture your audience's attention in the first five seconds. Remember that your audience has a short attention span. There's cat videos, there's social media. There's so much vying for their attention. But if your video can grab their attention in the first five seconds, they're more likely to be retained all the way through to that call to action, which tells them why they should buy. There's three things that you're going to want to implement in your videos. That's going to help with that retention. The first one is your hook. What's that first line that's gonna grab them by the throat figuratively and have them hanging off your every word? What's that gut punch that makes them think, whoa, what is this about? I have to keep watching. Think about when you watch a movie or a commercial or a TV show, observe your own behavior in how does that grab your attention fast? Otherwise you're like, I'm bored of this show. You click off, you watch one of the other millions of options on Netflix. What's that first thing that grabs your attention. I recently started watching the show Manifest on Netflix. Whew, what a concept. The first five minutes, I was like, I have to know what happens. And I, there's like four or five seasons right now. I am hooked, I am committed. I have to know what happens next. So think about the same thing and observe your own behavior when watching other pieces of content. How do they grab your attention? Is it an emotional hook? Is it something that makes you laugh? Tugs at your heartstrings? How can you create the same effect that's gonna keep your audience wanting to know more? The next thing you're going to need in your BSL are three promises, a vehicle, internal and external based promise, which I'll go through each one in depth in a moment. If you think of your offer being the genie in a bottle solution, it's almost like giving your audience three wishes, but three promises. They're going to help them make that decision to know that your offer is the best thing that's going to solve their problem. So the first one is the vehicle benefit promise. The vehicle is the main component of your offer. It's how you get them the result. So for me, if I teach people how to grow their businesses online to be able to make seven or eight figures, one of the vehicles for me is how to do that through YouTube. YouTube is the vehicle. When you're creating these promises, you want to think of what are the aspects of your product that your audience could immediately object to? What are the reasons they would say no or have false beliefs about what you have to offer? In my example, they could say, I don't need YouTube. YouTube doesn't work for me. And then my promise or my bonus helps them to overcome that objection. When you know what the vehicle based objection is going to be, how can you demonstrate how your product will benefit them? So for example, with the video marketing course, if the audience is thinking video isn't for me, you could address that by saying you don't have to have a fancy camera or natural born charisma to make money with video and look at all of this social proof and testimonies of people just like you have gotten these amazing results. Now that I've shared that with you, what's the vehicle in your offer and why might people have some objections to it? Let me know in the comments. Maybe we can help you get over them together. The internal benefit promise is about the mental obstacle that your audience will face in response to your offer. So typically when we say internal, it's something inside, maybe like an insecurity or a false belief about why they feel like it's not right for them because of something intrinsic. How can you overcome that objection? For example, if you're maybe a health coach, maybe your audience members object to your offer saying, I don't have the willpower to go to the gym every day. Maybe you overcome that by saying, I'm going to personally hold your hand and walk you through this program, celebrating at every milestone. So that you always feel supported in reaching your goal. The external benefit promises about something that's outside of themselves, typically like time, money and resources. They have a limiting belief thinking that it's not going to work for them because of something outside of themselves limiting them. In our previous video marketing course example, the answer might be to say, not only are you going to save time, but you're going to save so much money too. Think about how much time and money you'd be spending on Facebook ads alone, trying to get your content noticed. Instead, when you commit to publishing organic content on YouTube, you can grow your evergreen content and generate a constant stream of leads for free. Now, before we go into how to entice your audience to buy, not tomorrow, not next week, but today while they're watching your BSL, have you subscribed to this channel yet? I want to help you make six, seven, or even eight figures of cash flow with your business. So if that's something you're interested, now's the time to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that red button below before we move on. You won't regret it. The third element that every single VSL needs 
is the way to entice your audience to buy today. And I want you to remember the BUS acronyms. Sometimes we tease, don't miss the BUS. It stands for bonuses, urgency, and scarcity. How can you add more of an incentive that's going to make them want to invest today? Maybe you offer your audience a specific bonus when they invest or suggest that you can only accept a limited number of applicants. But be really specific about this and make it really clear that your audience is getting the best offer today. So for example, you could say something like, here's the catch, the doors to the VIP code are closing on September 1st, but when you become a VIP today, you're going to get this free filming kit. So that's a bonus that if they sign up, they're also going to get more on top of it. You'll see this anywhere, even at grocery stores, buy three bananas, get the fourth one free. And when those bananas are running out, that's scarcity. So you can apply the same thing for whatever you are selling. Even if it's an online program, maybe you only have so many spots available. Maybe you can only take so many people. Maybe the doors are also closing on September 1st that people have to sign up before then. So they don't just think, ah, if I wait till next week, that's totally fine. They might forget next week or they might get more enticed by your competitor who does have bonuses and urgency and scarcity. This is another one where I want to recommend you observe your own behavior. Where do you feel the emotional pull that tug of, I have to get my credit card out right now to buy. I recently got tickets to see Hamilton on Broadway and you better believe I was at my computer waiting for those tickets. I watched the clock count down because I knew if I was late and all those tickets sold out, I would miss my opportunity. There's only so many dates available. There's only so many seats available in the auditorium that I need to make sure I got mine fast. Think about that for yourself. What's something that you bought recently that you were like, I have to grab my credit card and get this before all the opportunities run out or so that I can get that additional bonus. Now think of how you can apply that for your audience. And hey, why stop at a video sales letter when you can ensure that every single piece of content you publish and every offer you create is ultimately leading to either recurring or high ticket cash flow. I want to show you how, so click the link in the video description below to learn more about my next free private training where I'm showing you exactly how to effortlessly ascend leads from hello to high ticket. Intro video. You need to capture your audience's The next thing that your VSL needs. If you think of like, if you think of I want to show you how, so click in the link in the video description below to learn more about the robot. Are three promises, and they're going to be a vehicle, internal, and external based pro promise. Wow, <laughs> that's one for the blooper folder.